Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do the They Pray and Pray on Your Downfall series. <laughs> I wanted to tap into this energy because there's been a lot of messages just, you know, focusing on potential love interest things that are coming in in regards to love and this reading is really focused more so on what's hidden hidden enemies or um, anything that could potentially be lurking behind the scenes um, if you have certain evil eyes any type of energy that is being focused on you for negative um, reasons so this reading is solely going to pick up on that energy i have meditated uh before this reading as i always do just calling that energy in asking spirit to reveal that of what is hidden behind the scenes so that's why you have a third bonus reading uh because not everybody's looking for love not everybody is even open to love um especially if you are on this spiritual journey and voyage some of you may be in the very beginning stages or in the middle stages where you're still going through um your process you're still growing through the process um and so love may not even be on your radar so i do not want to um leave anyone out um i want to see what else could be lingering what else could be hidden for you um, although my readings are typically for those of you who have been doing the work um, just for the sake of the newcomers, um, you know, that may be just entering into, you know, my portal into this first eye uh, visions portal for the first time. Um, I want to be able to relate to the whole. So I am very intentional today about picking up on the energies that may be lingering. So this is, as I said, the They Pray and Pray on Your Downfall series. Uh, just to pick up on that dark energy, I have the dark grimoire cards on deck. I also have the uh, Witch's Wisdom cards on deck, along with my Hoodoo Tarot cards on deck, and of course the numerology, so that we could get a clear and concise message for our beloved Scorpios. I will, each and every one of you beautiful souls, are feeling grounded, balanced, and in alignment, feeling healthy, mind, body, and soul. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. It is another special day. It is um, Saturn's day. And this is my beloved grandpa, my granddaddy. Today is his anniversary, so... Um, I just wanted to pay homage. It is another gloomy, you know, gloomy, rainy day. Of course, you know, when the full moon is um, popping, you know, when the full moon is out, they tend to be up there manipulating the weather. I've shown videos of that uh, in the past. Uh, you can check those out in my community tab. Um, but I've already done what I needed to do with the energy and I'm still working with the energy regardless of it being hidden behind the clouds. You can still work with the energy because this celestial energy is still very uh, powerful, contrary to what they may believe, you know, with us not being able to visually see it, you know, um, we can still feel it, you know, you can still feel that energy, that energy is still impactful. But um, I just wanted to, you know, uh, dedicate this reading to my granddaddy, Don, you know, that's my baby, I love him. That was my first love. And so we are going to tap in Tune into the energies for my beloved Scorpios. I will, each and every one of you are blissed. As I said, that you are, you know, feeling amazing as you should. Because I just, you know, these past couple of readings have just shown how much, you know, Scorpios have been grinding to, you know, come through uh, some dark periods and even just self-checking, you know, evaluating the self and taking onus. That's one of the huge, um, you know, points that's one of the huge things that a lot of people um, fail at is is really you know taking that that um, self check you know doing that 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 uh, inner work you know taking those internal self audits and um, 
you know, taking accountability, you know, so that's the only way you can heal and grow is when you own up and admit to uh, your part in whatever, you know, has has played out. So that's beautiful energy uh, that's been coming through just the leadership, the power, uh, the strength, the resilience, the persevering. Um, and so, you know, that could be a reason for folks to be sitting back hating. I mean, we all know how it goes. A lot of people uh, that Scorpios have in their inner ciphers, when you fall out with anyone, um, there had to be some some wrongdoing for Scorpio to X you out of, you know, their their lives, to, to cut you loose or to cut you free because Scorpios are very, very loyal uh, signs. You know, Scorpios do not play that, you know, you know, just kind of like you, you, you being two faced, you showing me one thing, then you go into somebody else showing them something or that just we don't do the, you know, playing the fence, you know, uh, both sides of the fence. It's like you can't do that with a Scorpio. Once a Scorpio identifies that you are um, a snake, that you're fake, that you're fugazi, um, there's no coming back from that. Uh, most times you get left behind with a Scorpio. They forget you're, you, you even exist. Um, and that's just the way that they cope with the deceit or the deception or uh, the betrayal. Because uh, what people fail to realize, you know, is those closest to you, the ones that are closest, which could be your family, which could be, you know, your beloved husband or wife or your best friend or your sibling or your mother, your father. Those are the ones that typically teach you the toughest lessons. It's those relationships, those close entanglements that teach you, you know, Scorpio's tough lessons, because those are the only ones um, that are close enough to harm you, you know? Um, and that's why it's such a shock. That's why you go through this death and then this rebirth, because it's almost as if you have to reestablish new boundaries. You have to reintroduce yourself, you know, to the world because you transform, you change, um, you know, from that person, that version of yourself that you were when you were dealing with individuals who may have betrayed you or deceived you. Um, I feel that there is a lot of eyes. There's a lot of eyes um, watching you. Some are watching in admiration and adoration while others are watching because of, you know, those low vibrational uh, frequencies like jealousy and envy, um, plotting and planning you know, manipulating, you know, those manipulative energies. Um, and so you just got to keep your head on the swivel. You just got to keep, you know, um, your eyes focused on what it is you're um, accomplishing or what it is you're embarking upon and not allow uh, anything to distract you. Because I think that that's, um, that's going to be what you're going to be dealing with uh, is, you know, because you're on such this this high vibration and you are um, really soaring right now, uh, whatever it is, whether it be in your career, you could really have, um, you know, just kind of like propelled into this whole new um, level. You know, maybe you have been promoted recently or you've been, you know, kind of like bumped up um, in your pay grade uh, and other people are suspicious and um, you know, of your methodologies, how did you get it, questioning your abilities, but it was absolutely, undubitably, your hard work, your tenacity, and your vigilance. You were very uh, diligent and vigilant on your quest, on your journey to achieve this success. And so others that don't work harder um, or as hard as you are always going to be very envious. There's going to be this air of jealousy surrounding you. Um, but just protect your energy, protect your space. I feel like Scorpios have learned how to um, move in a room full of vultures uh, because that's kind of like what you had to do um, already in healing uh, from past pains, wounds, and traumas with loved ones, friends, you know, husbands, wives, girlfriends, boyfriends, cousins, siblings, whatever. Um, I feel like you've had to learn how to adapt um, to your circumstances. Um, and not to really reveal your your hand. Um, I feel in the past maybe you were a you were sharing um, a little more with people that you thought um, were your ride or dies, or you thought they were um, holding you up like you was holding them up. Um, but what they were really doing was they was trying to learn your recipe. 
They were trying to figure out, uh, you know, that special sauce that you have. And that's not really a relationship or a friendship that's authentic or genuine. It's just, it's one that is um, really, um, you know, it's like someone's trying to use you or they're trying to, uh, you know, steal ideas or they're trying to, to kind of like, soak up whatever information you have access to for their betterment but they're not going to give you the credit that you deserve when they do this this is almost like they want to steal your ideas so that they could get the credit for something that you came up with or you know whatever this is your hard work is like someone wants to outshine you to make it appear as if they were the originator of that like as if they were the creator of that but i feel like real is going to recognize real regardless um, of what anybody may be trying to conjure up or what everyone, anyone may be trying to do in terms of like the big setup. Cause I'm hearing the big setup, you know? Um, and it's like, you're not going to fall under any type of, um, circumstance because you have been riding high. Like you've literally been on, um, just posy vibes lately. Like you're not even stooping to people's level. Um, most of you have already purged, cut folks off that you already suspected and have found to be, you know, um, fugazis, um, frauds, you know, wearing masks, um, inauthentic, you know, disingenuous. Um, you've, you've already done your due diligence to cut that off, but I do feel, uh, some of those individuals are, uh, temperamental when it comes to you, they have some hostilities and I feel like they're coming back with something to prove. So maybe they're coming back, um, you know, with, with this master plan to, to, um, to cause some sort of confusion, um, some disarray in your life, but you're wise. So you, you can sense, you can pick up intuitively, you can energetically speak energy. And I don't, I don't feel like there's any real threats. I just feel like these are people who are um, concerned entirely too much about what you got going on, because these could be the very people, like I said, that you have cut off and you just kept, you kept on going, you, you kept on moving forward, upwards and onwards. And um, it's like the, the momentum is not, it's, it isn't slowing down. You're, you're, you've taken off, but you're still speeding forward full steam ahead. It's like the, the, the momentum is, is, is like picking up, um, opposed to slowing down. And that could be very alarming to people who were so used to using you as a life force, uh, so used to leeching off you and being parasites or energy vampires. And now that you're inaccessible, um, that can make them a little salty. Um, but we're going to tap in and see what the cards say, beloveds. Um, if you are new here, welcome to the soul tribe, soul family. Uh, my name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I am also clairaudient. So during this reading, you will hear music. You'll hear me referencing songs, name of songs, lyrics within the songs, and maybe even the timestamp on the clock. Um, it will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards will be showing. Uh, and it all just blends very beautifully. Um, my readings are timeless. So my spiel is eat the fish and spit out the bones. Um, you know, um, I said that all that jacked up. I said my messages are timeless. So my readings are timeless. <laughs> Let's get this right. I don't want to confuse anybody. My readings are timeless. So whenever you found this video, whenever the video has found you, that was divine timing and in divine order. But my spiel here on my channel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. Meaning if the reading does not apply, you just let it fly by. Do not try to force anything to be your story. Check your natal chart to see what other placements you may have so that you can get a more clear and concise message for you, okay? Um, to all of my beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. I thank you all for the love. I rotate the love right on back to you. Um, to anyone that may be new, I will that my energy, the way that I read, I will that this reading resonates with you. And if you find that it does at the end of this reading, please be kind, hit the like button. You could share, you could subscribe. Um, definitely go and check out my, uh, my Etsy shop. I also provide consultations now. Um, and just, you know, if you feel so inclined, check it out. Okay. So let's go ahead and proceed with the reading. But before we do, 
Let's go ahead and do some house cleaning, shall we? Ashe. Let's go ahead and get that done. Ashe. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, Mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of life. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mode it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So let's see what time we have on the Kliz Ock. And I have my iPad plugged up, so unfortunately I cannot show you. But it does say it is 11.31 on the clock. So that reduces to 6.00. So six is giving me the energy of you being very victorious at this time. Uh, we have little Kim um, playing on the play play um, playlist. Matter of fact, I'm gonna just unplug it so I can show you. So there goes that 11:31, and there goes little Kim. This is called "It's All Good." Um, so you know that's could be what uh, you know the envy and the jealousy that I was picking up on is. Uh, because things are looking good in your life. Things are picking up, as I said. Um, you're having major success. Like you've taken on this this leadership role and you've taken the reins and you're now directing and controlling the ship. You're no longer allowing anybody or anything else external to you to dictate your movements, to dictate your actions. Um, you're no longer reactionary. Uh, you're proactive. You're already assessing things. You're already looking at things from that bird's eye view. So if it doesn't sit right, feel right in your spirit, uh, you're off it. If you're seeing red flags, if you're seeing anything that comes off inauthentic, you're not entangling in it because those are things you've had to learn. Those are lessons, um, you know, karmic lessons you've had to learn already. So you're there, there's no rep repetition of these karmic lessons for you. You just got to show a Scorpio one time who you are for them to be completely disgusted <laughs> and done, you know, done, done, fin, beloved. So we got Lil' Kim. Some of you can be from Brooklyn. You know, um, this definitely, maybe your name is Kimberly, uh, but I definitely am getting a sense of like, life is good. Everything is already all right in your life. Um, even if you may not uh, feel that, maybe that's something that you are like affirming. You're just speaking positively. Um, and, and whether you realize it or not, that that is absolutely going to become your reality. Uh, because your words are very powerful. So however you speak on your life or however you speak on your circumstances, you expect that, you know, you expect that in return. Um, so I do feel like there's some some growth. I feel there's a lot of abundance. I definitely have been feeling and sensing wish fulfillments and miracles and answered prayers um, that are going to really um, make you feel overjoyed when it does start coming through. And I just feel ultimately you're just, you're, you're working on matching your vibration uh, to your circumstance. Um, now that you know you're a powerful master manifester, like you are the magi, you are the alchemist, you are, uh, you know, the keeper of ancient wisdom, um, you are now moving in that energy of, you know, a surety, like you know who you are. This is that sense of like confidence now, confident in your abilities, confident um, in, in, in yourselves. Uh, so this is beautiful, beautiful energy. So things are all good for you. Things are looking up. Things are looking right. Um, and that's why, you know, there could also be, you know, just this air of jealousy, looming, envy. Uh, the six of, uh, you know, the six that was on the clock I saw, um, I, I was getting the sense of victory, like the six of wands, like you are, you know, um, being acknowledged, you know, there's some sort of uh, movement forward. 
Uh, and I feel like a lot of you moved away from all of the toxicity and created, uh, you know, this safe space or this this more um, peaceful um, environment for yourself where you don't have to question um, or second guess other people's motives, intentions um, for you. So you have really been very mindful um, to create a safe space to, you know, set up those necessary boundaries so as not to be let down or disappointed in your, you know, future. So we have on the bottom of the deck 14, uh, that reduces to five. So this is moderation. And I feel the moderations that you've made have been with the self. Uh, five is associated with the hierophant. And so I do feel like there's been a whole lot of healing going on, a whole lot of internal work, um, a lot of assessing, as I said in the beginning of the reading, just assessing yourself, assessing your movements, and being um, mindful um, to change the things that are um, that need to change. You know, uh, that's where the onus takes uh, you know, comes in, you know, that's where taking responsibility and accountability, that's the only way that you can really um, change or really heal is when you do that, that work, you know, you take um, inventory of, you know, how you may be um, contributing to uh, a circumstance that is, you know, um, you know, not as conducive to your betterment as you initially may have thought. But I still like, see, you've been very instrumental in your own growth, um, spiritual strength, coming into alignment uh, with your higher self, uh, tapping into that God frequency. Uh, perhaps you were speaking to uh, your angels and your deities, or you were sitting at the feet of master teachers, learning from other healers in your community, uh, other Sufis, you know, maybe you were learning from maternal and paternal uh, energy in your family that you um, see who've, who's, uh, you know, kind of transformed their lives. And so you're seeking out, you know, that advice on how, what their methodology was or their process. And it's like, it's working now in your favor because you're applying what you've learned. You're applying what you're learning. Um, and that's really what becomes Wise Dome is the application of the knowledge you obtain. On the split, we have 61, self-love. So with the seven and this five, um, you know, that seven is showing like this is one of the main lessons you had to learn because uh, that seven, you know, is really associated with the chariot. Um, and that's about, as I said earlier, taking the reins and, and, and controlling the direction you are taking your life. You're now in control. You're now asserting yourself in that leadership position, you know, um, and that seven and five reduces to 12, which is three. So that has what, you know, led, that's what's led to you now being in that empress energy or that emperor energy where you are aware of your divinity as that divine feminine or divine masculine to create to be creative. Uh, and in this, I feel that's where all the jealousy comes from because the emperor and the empress, they are the very uh, definition of success. They are the moguls. They are the power couple. Um, and they are also attractive because they're confident, because of the power they possess to manifest the change, you know, to create the change. They are very action oriented. They put action behind the word. So if they say they're going to do something, you better believe you're going to see them do it. And this is what I feel others uh, could be very jealous of is just seeing that, you know, perhaps as you cut them off, you continue to soar, you continue to build momentum and you're not showing any signs of slowing down. Uh, and these could be people who have uh, some, you know, ill intentions um, and a vendetta. You know, they could be salty because you left them behind. And now you're experiencing all of this success and this joy. And it's because you've learned to love yourself. That was one of the most important changes was, you know, to prioritize you uh, with the seven and five reducing to three. As I said, that empress is very much, she knows her worth. She knows her value. Uh, and she also births new ideas. She births babies. She births new projects. She births new ways of thinking. So she reinvents herself. But more importantly, she embodies all of the characteristics of all the queens. If this is a masculine energy and he's an emperor, he embodies 
and at the attributes and characteristics of all the kings. So this is how you are seen now. But there's an energy here where you are coming off um, as very wise. Uh, you're coming off as someone who's just very um, connected to the all. It's like you are very grounded um, in who you are. You're very firm, very confident in who you are now. And that's something that you may not have um, ever displayed in the past. But the self-love, that was one of the most or one of the key lessons um, you know, that you have had to learn was loving that self. So that's beautiful. And others are definitely um, um, witnessing this. You know, these are these are people who could have um, hurt you, broke your heart in the past, you know, disappointed you, betrayed you in the past. And now they're seeing you in this whole new light as someone who uh, loves themselves. Like I said, you've learned um, your power. Uh, so you know how to move in a room full of vultures if necessary. Um, so that too is um, also very admirable because you don't, um, there's no fear, like you don't come off as afraid or fearful or intimidated by any means. It's like you're walking in the room and shifting the whole frequency and vibration of that space. Your energy and your presence is felt, beloved. So that's powerful. Let's tap on beautiful spirit. Now I have a message of peace, power, and protection. Who or what is praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? We have a message of peace, power, and protection. Who's praying on our beloved Scorpio's downfall and why, spirit? And we have um, we have tragedy, Gaddafi, and this is called um, Illuminati. And the name of the album is The Matrix 411, and that's what's really resonating. Some of these people are still trapped in the matrix mentally. These are people who are soulless. These are people who are, you know, emotionally stunted. These are people who project, deflect. They don't take accountability. They don't take onus. They find others to place blame and fault for their misfortunes. So these are people who are still trapped. I just get a sense of like, you know, monkey mind. You know, these are people who have convinced themselves something and it's, you can't talk to a wall and expect the response. You can't talk to a box of rocks and expect the response. Those that, the, it's just like, so this is the, the, the energy I'm picking up is like, these are people that you have tried with. Um, you've really tried, you've given them a lot of chances or opportunities to redeem themselves, you know, to perhaps maybe you were patient with certain individuals because they were your loved ones or because they were your family members or because this was your husband or your wife or your ex. You could have been very um, empathic um, to those people. You could have shown them empathy. You could have been showing compassion, um, very sensitive to whatever they were going through, but they weren't, um, they weren't operating from a place of um, genuinity. It was only a ploy or some sort of emotional manipulation or some sort of tactic to kind of disarm you so that you could be engulfed in whatever it is they wanted you to be engulfed in. And I hope that makes sense. But this is, this. it was like, they these individuals that you were really patient with, because I keep hearing patient, you were very patient. And I feel like it's because there was a lot of time, a lot of investment. These are people that you love, but you came to a point where, you know, you realize you can't save everyone. You can't help everyone. You could lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. You could teach someone, you know, how to fish, but you can't, you know, you, 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 I mean, you could give someone fish, but you can't teach them how to fish. So it's like these are individuals that you, you can't help them unless they're trying to help themselves. And I feel like these people weren't trying to help themselves. They was just trying to literally live off of you. They were just kind of like, you know, the type of individuals that just wanted to get the answers without the application, without doing the studying, without doing any of the, you know, the research. They just wanted all the answers. So this is that type of person that, you know, say, for instance, if you in school back in the days, you go to school and, you know, there's that one person that's. You know, they may not like school either, but they know like, look, I got to get this homework done. And then you go to work to school the next day and somebody's constantly hitting you up the same person every day. Like, yo, you got the answers to the homework or you got this and that. And it's just like at some point it's going to get old because it's like, yo, you sitting here. 
I'm doing all the work for both of us. What am I getting out of it? And that's kind of like what it is. I felt like that's how some of your relationships were. Like people would just constantly take, 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 but they were never replacing or replenishing or, you know, depositing anything into the situation. So you felt, you know, um, kind of like bankrupt, whether it was emotionally, um, you know, tapped or just, you know, even financially, maybe these were people constantly needing a loan, needing a favor, needing, 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 very needy. And you got tired of it, so you cut it off. But these individuals definitely now, they're stuck in the matrix. So they have this, um, you know, this mentality of um, being victims, you know, um, um, not taking owner, um, ownership of their, their, um, their themselves. So I feel like that's that energy. But we have rebirth here um, on the bottom of the deck as well. Um, so I do feel like, you know, your transformation as I said, you've emerged, you've emerged someone different, but I also feel like this was what led to this new and improved you is those relationships. Um, you had to sever the ties to those relationships. And that's what led to you being able to really soar um, because those things could have been anchoring you uh, emotionally, energetically. They could have been holding you back, um, keeping you bound, keeping you stuck um, in the moment that you realize uh, you know, because that seven is associated with that chariot. The moment you realize your own power, you know, the moment you started to, you know, um, really practice that self-love, as we just saw with that 16, what was that? Uh, I think it was uh, 61. I'm not sure. But it was self-love that we just saw on the split. The moment you started to implement that and show that to yourself, that's when your transformation took place. Because it was the death of the old concept, these old you know, out of date belief systems and, and, and habits and ideologies that you could have been rocking with for quite some time. I feel like when you changed your perspective, that's when your whole life changed. And so that's why there's this energy feeling of, you know, jealousy because you're not the same person, you know. So let's tap in. So who's praying on our beautiful Scorpios? Who's praying on that down for a while? And we have Paxa, and this is, um, this is called a worker man. So that's what you all were doing. You were working very hard. You know, you were working very hard and very um, diligent on your goals. And you had other people who were trying to, you know, kind of steal your shine. You know, um, these are people who are jealous because they haven't been doing the work. You know, these are people who are, you know, potentially envious because now you're reaching some level of success that they have yet to achieve and it's because they haven't put in or put forth the work or the effort. You know, um, someone could be from Jamaica because uh, Patra is Jamaican. So we have this 37 time out. So that's what I feel like you did. You put a lot of folks on time out. I feel like you also took the necessary time out to work on you. Um, and when you did that, this, this started a whole new chapter. It's like you put the past behind you and you learn to start uh, implementing the changes um, as you started to uh, embark on this new beginning or this new voyage. Um, I feel like a lot of the negativity that you could have been dealing with or going through with some of these individuals, um, it was very overwhelming to the point where you had to create that distance in that space. Um, I feel like a lot of things could have been revealed during this time away, during that time um, of isolation. Uh, like I said, that's when you begin to do that real work, that soul work where you're uh, taking internal self audits. You're now in a position where you can see everything clearly because you don't have all of that outside noise, um, you know, interrupting your own Christ consciousness, your own, uh, you know, God thoughts, those own um, thoughts, your inner thoughts. You don't have anything, uh, you know, um, you know, um, interrupting uh your process uh and i feel like there's a lot of epiphanies that can take place during that time away and apart from those who are causing the distractions um when you step away from something and step back into it um you know when you analyze it from outside of it um that that reveals a lot and i feel like that's why this uh yellow is here because i do feel like there was some some illumination there was some sort of clarity uh, that you were able to um, obtain some sort of grand epiphany, perhaps. Uh, but I feel like more importantly, you trusted your intuition. Um, and that, that three is associated with like the solar plexus, which is the sun that shines within. 
So I feel what that is saying and what that revealed was when something didn't sit right in your spirit, in your gut, which is like your second brain, um, some might argue it's the first. I feel like that was the um, that was the deciding factor. Your inner wisdom, that inner co compass is what you trusted. You use discernment. Um, and I feel like your ancestors, your guides, your deities, uh, your spirit team, your spiritual parents, perhaps, um, they were kind of like leaving you these little nuggets of information, you know, and I feel like they were the ones that kind of, you know, told you it's time to take a pause. Um, it's time to like, uh, to, to, you know, go through that purification process to rejuvenate your spirit, to cleanse, to clean, clear and cleanse, you know, and, uh, that also included cutting folks off and revealed to you people you needed to cut off, disassociate with and what work you needed to do. Uh, but that's what, you know, that ending and then now this new beginning, uh, you're going to, you know, um, have a lot of folks that are going to be salty because you're you're rising like that phoenix from the ashes. So this 11 here and we're attracting, uh, I mean, we're about to uh, clarify, you know, what you're attracting to you um, or who you're attracting to you. And this could be someone who was absolutely codependent because the energy of individuality um, it speaks to, you know, having to learn to be independent, having to learn to grow your own two legs and to, you know, navigate this plane um, and this dimension on your own accord. Um, it's a beautiful thing when you could come into a partnerships, come into relationships or committed connections uh, with people that are of, um, you know, um, that are like minded or have, you know, similar interests, goals. Um, dreams, you know, that's a beautiful thing. But when you are uh, in connections where it is just very one sided, where there's no reciprocity, it's not reciprocal. Um, I feel like this was a lesson someone had to learn was individuality to not use uh, perhaps you as their crutch or to not um, to be needy. Uh, because I do feel like these individuals are definitely or were definitely uh, dependent upon you. And so, you know, this could have caused a lot of, um, you know, a lot of uh, confusion on their behalf when you separated and severed the tie. Because this two is associated with the high priestess. This one is associated with the magician, you know. So you, they've watched you literally manifest a whole new life. They've watched you say as above, so below, as within, so without, and you utilize the elements around you, water, fire, earth, air, ether, to manifest the change. And you took the time out to do that. This meant that you had to separate, to detach, to disconnect, to unplug from those individuals that were causing confusion or that were definitely gaslighting, manipulating you um, to get what they needed. But now this energy here is like they're figuring out how they're going to go it alone you know and so that could turn into um disdain and anger and 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 you know all of those negative connotations because this is again people who are trapped in the matrix who feel like someone else is supposed to take care of them they feel very much um you know entitled if you will and so we have um dave east and this is uh from the paranoia um album and this song is called Pow Powder. Uh, so paranoia is what's sticking out. So these individuals are very conflicted. And we can see that with that two. Because two is all about, you know, um, duality. It's about, you know, needing to find balance. It could be about, you know, conflict, mental conflict, confusion, or a decision that's being um, made or that needs to be made. Uh, so someone is very confused, uh, perhaps very paranoid. Um, and that does fit, you know, so let's tap it. So spirit, who's praying on Scorpio's downfall? Who's this person that Scorpio has praying on their downfall? May I have a message of peace, power, and protection. My spirit of peace, power, and protection. May I have a message. Who is this person that is praying on our beloved Scorpio's downfall? So this is someone really hidden. Okay. Then we have a uh, spiritual career. So this is how they feel about you. We're about to pull that card after we pull this. So we have surrender. So this is definitely someone who wants you to uh, relinquish your power, your control to them. Um, this is definitely someone with that 10 here because you put them on time out. And so they want you to surrender your power right, right on back to them. 
you know, this is someone who's really, um, this is someone who definitely uh, has had some difficulty with ego, with their ego. You know, their ego could be a little inflated. We also have domestic harmony. And this is also at a 10. So far, you got 10, 10, 10. So this is a confirmation of, you know, these people got left behind, um, you know, because these were karmic lessons. These were people who came into your life to teach you karmic lessons uh, and you've learned those lessons. And so this is just confirmation that there's been, you know, a, fi a finale. Um, and, you know, with every ending, we already know there is a new beginning. And I feel with these individuals, um, there is some frustration that you have left them behind some of them see you as being very successful in your career some of you may have opened up businesses um you may provide spiritual practices offer consultation you may do tarot readings you may be a psychic a channeler you may even do music uh you may be artists of some kind uh where you are uplifting and opening up the hearts and minds of the collective, uh, whatever you're doing, if you are in the spotlight, even if you are a uh, content creator, even if you have uh, some platform uh, like TikTok, Instagram, whatever, and you have a, a huge um, following or a huge, um, you know, um, uh, a huge uh, fan base, whatever you want to call it. Um, I see that this individual, whoever these individuals are, like I said, it's like your momentum is picking up even more. Uh, the intensity of it is picking up. It isn't slowing down. So they're seeing you as having a lot of success and victory. That 78 breaks down to 15, which is six. So that was the victory I was seeing in the beginning. The reading started at 1131, which was six as well. And I was seeing that six of wands where there was major recognition and rewards. Other people are watching you, but on traditional tarot, if you think of, um, you know, that six of wands card, um, it appears that everyone is cheering and everyone is celebrating and happy for that person that is uh, being celebrated. But there's a couple of scragglers behind, um, a couple of haters, you know, evil eyes watching in the, uh, you know, background. And um, I pointed out that that face, you know, that evil eye, that mug, you know, that that freaking, you know, disdain that they looked, uh, that face in the crowd um, in a number of reading uh, to show like everybody's not celebrating your wins. Uh, some of these people were praying on your downfall. And so they've seen you in some level of success. You seem to be very emotionally fulfilled, but they also know you're very intuitive. You're very psychic. They also know that they can't mess with you in that regard because you can, you could feel energy. You are very very in tune, Captain. And, um, but these individuals are people who wanted you to submit your will to them. Um, they felt like they were um, supposed to be able to control you, control your steps, control what you do. Maybe these were people who intentionally misguided you. I feel whoever these individuals are, because um, this still reduces to two. And remember, we had that two on the bottom of the deck. Um, with that 11 individuality before we pulled these cards and I was picking up on that uh, high priestess. So this is someone who could potentially be, you know, kind of like creeping and watching, you know, trying to, you know, uh, send some sort of negative energy your way uh, because that high priestess could use their powers for bad. So this is someone that definitely is like, you know, kind of watching and stalking you. Um, as I said before, kind of learning, um, learning you trying to um, figure out a way to to uh, overpower you or to to um, outsmart you even. Uh, so this is someone that's scheming, plotting, and planning. And so you need to look alive. I feel like you already know, you know, you're, you're already guarded. You're already putting people on um, timeout. Uh, so you already know this. You already sense this, especially with the spiritual career. I feel like you all have embarked on some sort of new... Um, new venture in your career or you have uh you know started to uh utilize your your god-given gifts and talents um and maybe you're uh in the developmental stages of embarking on some new business plan um but there's this sense of someone seeing you as uh very successful in whatever it is you're doing and this is enough to make this person very um very frustrated because they're unhappy this is a uh, disgruntled, you know, domestic harmony, 46. Uh, that's at, you know, a 10, which is an ending. So all the peace and happiness that they may have felt in the past because 
Like I said, you could have been their life force. You could have been their source of information. You could have been their well, you know, that, that wishing well. You could have been, you know, where they received that wealth of knowledge and they then paraded it around to others as if it was their ideas or as if it was their, uh, you know, their um, something that they created or something that they um, manifested but it was really coming from you. And now that that well has run dry, it's like they're, they're becoming more uh, salty, you know, more uh, frustrated that they don't have you to tap to. You know, they can't tap into your well anymore. So this is powerful. And we have babies again, numb. So they feel like you're numb. <laughs> Whoever this is, they feel like you're numb. Like you don't, you don't, um, you're devoid of emotion. And, it, and, and perhaps you are because, um, you know, once you realize that someone is, is using you and the love isn't real, it isn't pure. Like I said, that that energy no longer exists. It's like you can cut people off and keep it moving um, without a care in the world. Like that's, you know, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, you know, but it's like, you know, you, you, you become um, like you no longer exist to a Scorpio once they find out, you know, what you've been doing behind closed doors, you know, and especially if they feel like you duped them or you played them. And they were being their authentic self to you. And then they discover that you have been like a hater, a secret hater all along. You will get cut out forever, ever, ever, ever. And so that's why this person feels like you're numb. Like you don't feel anything because you really don't. <laughs> you really, you really don't. Not anymore. You know, all the feeling that you did have with these individuals or with these circumstances it's like you that's what you've been taking the time out to heal so once you heal something it's done it's over with it's like there's no more um pain there's no more disappointment there's no more um feeling that regret or that shame or that any of that because you you've taken the necessary time to heal it that's why you're uh coming out of the gate with this new beginning with that one so let's tap it so how does this person, Scorpios, have praying on their downfall feel about Scorpios? How does this person feel about Scorpios? You get a message of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, spirit. So they feel like you have wrapped up the cycle with them. They feel like you're done, done, thin. This is completion. They feel like something is done with. They feel like you have your guard up because I'm getting like the nine of wands. Like that wounded warrior that has learned like, you know, one too many lessons, one too many of the same lessons you know like i said i felt like you were very empathic and compassionate and sensitive to others and so you may have given people chance after chance you may have been very patient with these mofos and your patience has run dry because you are not mother Teresa out here beloveds you don't know, talk well like you are not mother Teresa. you cannot continue to just give people passes because of the time or because of you know, the so-called connection of, oh, that's family, oh, that's a sibling, oh, that's my my son's father, my daughter's mother, that's my, whatever. It's like people can't continue to just get passes. You had to establish boundaries. So this was you saying, okay, I'm done. You know, that done, done, fin is you learning um, your worth. That nine is the hermit. So that's that energy of you really taking time to assess. And you're coming out of that assessment, out of that time out, out of that time away, realizing what is necessary moving forward because you've had that grand epiphany as i said and we have um mob deep and this is called cradle to the grave and so um i feel like for for whatever you know um circumstance that has happened someone really is like you know this is i i just get a sense of like you know um you have been someone who has been uh, very genuine to the relationships that you have been in. Um, you've been someone who has been very kind, very giving, um, but you reached that breaking point where, you know, when you started to lose sight of who you were because of the actions of others, that's when you realize, like, I got to cut this energy off because that completion is also giving me a sense of like you also suffering from you know mental conflicts and restless nights um thinking about whatever was transpiring um for the longest times and with that mob deep i feel like these were a bunch of people 
that disappointed you, a bunch of different people that you had around you that you realized just weren't on your frequency anymore. You outgrew these connections. Um, maybe these connections never were what you thought they were because I feel like you may have seen in people what you wanted to see because that's who you were. You just said, okay, well, this is my friend. I love them. I would do anything for them. You assumed perhaps that they would do the same or that they felt the same, but these were relationships and connections that were of convenience. And that was really a tough pill to swallow, um, especially being that you found that you've lost yourself, yourself in those relationships. And so I feel now um, that this completion is here. It's like now you finally saw that your worth and value um, was not appreciated in those connections. And this is what's allowing you to establish the boundaries so that you can focus on yourself. This old purple, you know, is, is really indicative of you trusting your own intuition moving forward and not trusting other people's words, not trusting what other people are saying. Um, I definitely feel that these individuals uh, could have been people who, um, you know, they could just could be like stuck in a second and third and fourth childhood, um, which is why you could have been displaying a lot of patience because you knew they were wounded as, as well. Scorpios really um, attract a lot of people that are wounded, that need unconditional love, and especially being a water sign, you are emotionally intelligent beings. So you attract a lot of people that are wounded, a lot of people that have, you know, some, uh, some healing that they need to do. And because of your healing, loving, nurturing um, vibration, uh, you get, you know, you, you do get a lot of scragglers. Um, but I feel like you, you, you are no longer uh, taking applications. Um, <laughs> I'll be cracking myself. <laughs> no, you're no longer, you know, you're no longer accepting applications <laughs> to heal others. You know, if anything, you're going to be a reflection of the healing they need to be uh, by just being the change that you want to see in the world. But you're no longer um, just allowing these wounded, damaged souls to come in and destroy what you're building. Um, I feel like that's done. That 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 version of you that felt like you had to overcompensate and save the world and save the planet is just you. You no longer feel that because you realize that um, everyone has to do their work the same way you had to. And the ones that you do um, gravitate to um, to help, you will help. But you don't know. You no longer feel that need to save folks like you may have in the past because you realize. It, it only slows you down. Um, it slows you down. And being an empath, it also really, um, it takes a toll, you know, after a while. And so this person sees that you are uh, completely over that. Uh, you're now single. You're now working on things and having a lot of progress on whatever um, you, you are working on, whether that's in school, whether that's in your careers. Um, whether that's even in your family, whether that's in just rebuilding your own uh, wealth. Um, but they see you very hardworking and, and attractive now. And uh, that's very scary. We have in the bottom of the deck 32 music. And so the song that's playing right now is the, the Red Pillar, Scorpion King. And this is called Know the Ledge featuring Cambada and Blue Pill. So now you know the ledge. Know the ledge is the knowledge of self. Um and so you've already wised the dome, you did the data, and now you know the ledge. And so what's hidden is, you know, there's this person who thinks that they know they have some sort of knowledge. Um, they've learned something and, you know, kind of sitting here stalking. Because like I said, this person that's that you have, um, you know, that you're attracting or that's watching you, that's preying on your downfall, they're in the vibration of two, which is associated with the high priestess. So the high priestess is hidden. So she thinks you're already picking up on it. You already know so far you got 10, 10, 10 on the board. So this is obviously, you know, a lesson you've learned from heartache. If you've learned a lesson, Scorpios, you're not going to repeat that lesson again. You don't repeat. That's, that's not something Scorpio do. You got to tell them one more folk, one time, and then they off that. Once you show them one good time, who you are, or that you're sussy, that's it. It's done, done, fin. So what's hidden in the energy is this 32-5, the music. Some of you all are absolutely tapping into your divinity 
as that divine feminine and masculine because of the lessons you've learned. Some of you are creating music that is going to raise the frequency, the consciousness. That's what you're being done. That's what's being done. I also feel with this, you know, the ledge, I feel like you have knowledge of self now. You know, spirit is saying now that you have this knowledge of self, now that you've reached that higher, deeper, more profound understanding of you and who you are and your work and your value, now it's time to perhaps embark upon those gifts. Now it's time to utilize those skills and talents that you've discovered that you were in possession of when you were working on the self, when you were in that 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 cocooning stage, when you were in incubation status, when you were in isolation, when you deplugged, you know, unplugged from the matrix. It's like now, whatever that talent, that gift, that skill set that you discovered you have, that you're in possession of, that's what I feel you are working on and fine tuning behind the scenes. And this is what I think this person is kind of like spying and watching because perhaps this is someone that uses your ideas um, and they implement them in their own way to make it seem like these are their ideas. So be mindful of what you're sharing. If you don't mind other people stealing your ideas, then do what you're doing. But there's definitely some sense of someone is perhaps stealing ideas or taking something from you because with no the ledge knowledge, someone is obviously learning something from you as well. So they're learning something, they're soaking up game. You know what I'm talking about? Like this is somebody that's definitely stalking and watching with a reason. But we're gonna see what that reason is. What what's hidden in the energy for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall? Because that five is also like, you know, competition. It gives me like the five of wands where all these da dun da duns, people fighting. You you can't you don't know who's moving left, right. Like it's just so much chaos. But that's like competition. These are people who are in these secret competitions with you. Um and and perhaps with that note alleged spirit is just saying you're aware. You're fully aware. Because you being in that nine is like, you know, the hermit is a wizard, he knows the answers he seeks are found within. And you've discovered some things in your time away. So we have on the bottom of the deck, didn't I say creativity in the beginning of the reading? That number three, because that's what we saw on the board at the time. Is you're in this very beautiful, vibrant, powerful energy of the empress, the emperor. You know, that three is associated with the empress, so you know your worth and value. You're also a ray of sunlight. You're powerful. You're very attractive. People are mesmerized by you. I feel like they're also flabbergasted at how, you know, how brightly um, you're shining, of how how far you've come, you know, how confident you are, how beautiful, how attractive, how handsome, how dapper, debonair, you know, just the power that you are owning and exuding at this time is very mesmerizing. And, and this is enough to make individuals, you know, a little jelly because you shine and bright, you know, this is, this is the epitome of, of shining. Um, and you're not only shining, you're seen as very wise, you're seen as very intelligent, um, you're seen as someone who's very, who has something to add, uh, very, you know, experienced. You've been through a lot of things and you've learned. Um, I feel something that you have been working on is manifesting and it's going to bring about a beautiful change, a positive change. Someone sees that you're very happy as well. You're happy even in their absence, like with these individuals, not in your life, you appear to be happier. You know, they see you living your best life. Um, and I definitely feel like you also have some admirers, you know, secret admirers as well. We got a siren going off. And it's 12, 13 on the clock. That reduces to seven. I love you, mom. Um, and then we have uh, MF Doom phasers. So someone's trying to bring you doom and gloom. Someone could also be secretly going through some doom and gloom. But they're going to receive karma dharma because I just get a sense of like, you know, whatever you put out in the universe, it comes back. Especially now during this 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 season of you know instant karma especially with aquarius you know that um 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 saturn uh and aquarius energy i just feel like you know there's there's a instant um payback you know there's an instant payback of of karma so whatever you are thinking whatever you are whatever intentions you're setting whether good or bad i feel like you're going to reap what you sow so it's very important to be mindful of what you are reaping, be mindful of where you are directing your anger or where you are trying to, um, you know, manipulate people's energy. It's like be mindful because whatever you're trying to do, it could blow up in your face, uh, especially with MF Doom, with phasers. I feel like someone also feels like you're not phased by them. 
um, you're, 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 you're owning your power, you're standing in your power. The Empress is very powerful energy, even if it's a masculine energy, that's just powerful energy. Um, you all know your, 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 you know the power you possess and you've taken those necessary steps to reach this level of self mastery. So this is why there's not going to be an easy way to, um, you know, to, to come in and, and, and sabotage because you're fully aware, you're fully aware of everything. And that number three is that, that solar plexus, that's the sun that shines within. So you're always going to, um, you know, go with what your gut instinct is telling you. You never shy from that. So th this is what's hidden is you have the number 22 intuition. And so with the sirens going off and with MF doom, follow and trust your intuition. This is double numbers. So I feel like this person, that, that person, because remember there are two, and then you're also um, just as intuitive, just as psychic. Like I said, you embody all of the characteristics of all the queens, the kings, you know, even that high priestess and high priest. You, carry, you embody all of the attributes of all of, let's just say, the uh, major arcana cards, you know, all of that feminine and masculine energy, whether it be a magi, whether it be a sorcerer, whether it be an alchemist, whether it be the the, the high priestess or the high priest, um, you embody that um, as that that empress and that emperor. So what's hidden is you do have someone um, that you need to uh, keep your head on the swivel for, just as I said, because this is someone that is like definitely, um, you know, this is that energy of someone who's perhaps trying to be very meticulous in how to uh enact upon some sort of um i don't know if it's an attack i don't want to call it that just yet but this is definitely someone who's kind of watching and stalking you heavily uh with that four that's associated with the emperor um and so i do get a sense of like you know uh this is someone that sees you're in your power uh, so like I said, they're kind of fading to black. They're like hiding behind the scenes, but you could be picking up on that because you're equally intuitive. So you are already on that frequency and they are now realizing that. And I feel like whatever is hidden will be exposed um, with this yellow. This always gives me like, you know, sunlight. It gives me like illumination. It gives me like clarity. Um, but I also feel like you, you feel something in your gut, you know, and spirit is telling you what's hidden is trust your gut. Trust your the, that gut instinct. Trust your own intuition, um, because whatever is coming, um, this is something that could potentially be coming from the past. Because you've already completed something, you've already walked away from something, and now it seems to be trying to reappear. Because this four is like someone's holding on to some sort of vendetta, holding on to some sort of ill will. Because I'm getting like the four of pentacles for whatever reason. And I just feel like you could feel it. That's why you're you're blocking it out. Um, you could sense that, you know, someone is coming in. So let's tap in, beloveds. Let's see what the outcome is for who is praying on our beloved Scorpio's downfall and why. I have a message of peace, power, and protection, spirit. Thank you. Look at that. I can't make this up. So definitely someone could be trying to steal your ideas. You know, you may have some brilliant ideas. This is someone that's holding on to you because they definitely can see that you are having some sort of success in something that you're working on, whatever endeavor, even if this is within um, yourself, you know, whether, whether you're working on yourself into, um, internally, you know, healing yourself at a soul level, um, whatever the spiritual career is indicative of, whatever you may be embarking upon, like I said, even if it's music that you're creating, that's, in, um, you know, that is uh, created with the intention to heal the, the, the collective, to heal the masses, to awaken the masses. It's like someone could potentially be trying to steal your ideas. I feel like spirit is telling you to use your first eye to see, um, and not your two, because something could be hidden, um, in plain sight. Someone could be really trying to, um, you know, perhaps like um, steal. I just get thievery, you know, I, I just get thievery for whatever reason. But this is the outcome. You know, some of you all are going to have, you know, success in your careers, especially doing uh, something that you're passionate about, doing something that you genuinely love. Um, you're going to see major success with that pink. I just feel not only like emotional fulfillment, joy, peace, happiness, but I also get a sense of like you also feeling very stable, very self-sufficient, very independent. Um, I'm getting with that six. You're also going to receive, um, you know, a lot of um, a lot of um, breakthroughs in your career. Um, there's going to be like rewards and 
there's going to be recognition because I was seeing uh, that six of wands when we opened up the reading 1131. And so this also revealed itself during the shuffle. And so this is the reason why you may have some jealousy and envy because perhaps whatever you are embarking on uh, within your spiritual career, whether you are a scryer, a coffee cup reader, a tower card reader, a psychic, whether you are someone who creates music or you are an artist of some sort, some uh, fashion or form, even if you are, you know, um, you have a fashion line where you are making clothing that has a statement that has, you know, symbols that are going to awaken um, the masses. It's like whatever you're doing, you're putting uh, powerful intention into it. And this is why you may have somebody that's kind of like lurking. Um, and this is someone that you are block. You block this individual out. We have 74 nature. So some of you all need to go out into nature. Um, you know, go outside, you may get some downloads, you may have some really divine synchronicities, whether it be an animal totem visiting you, whether it be you seeing, you know, some sort of synchronized number, whether it be a sensation or whether you just, you know, simply find a feather, whatever the case may be, um, going out in nature will also provide some divine downloads and uh, transmissions for you. Um, and I feel like it's also could reveal to you uh, who this person is that's preying on your downfall. I feel like spirit is going to send you a sign as to who this person is that's kind of like um, that could have been like codependent on your energy. Um, but I do feel like you, some of you could have been born in 1974, 1978. Some of you could also be like 1111 Scorpios. You could have been 114, 119. Um, some of you could have been born on um, 1028. Um, you could be also um, 1110. I'm getting um, November 1st as well. November 7th, 8th. November 2nd. But um, fourth, you know, whatever the case may be, I feel like you, your, your gifts are natural. They're, they're, you just, you have that natural um, instinct, you know, that inner wisdom, trust that. I just feel like spirit is telling you to trust that. Uh, this could be also someone that could be in your environment as well. Someone that you have history with, uh, someone that you are familiar with. So be mindful. Because as I said, I, I just get a sense of like some of these individuals, some of this hate is coming from folks that you have cut off from the past. So let's tap in, beloved. So we have right now um, My Brother's Keeper. This is called Master Musical Mind. So My Brother's Keeper, some of you all could be dealing with, um, you know, some of you fellas could have been dealing with someone you called your brother, your brethren. Um, and, um, you know, you were betrayed. You know, maybe you found out that this person was trying to hit on your lady. Maybe you found out that someone in your family may have slept with your lady. I'm getting it even the mother to your child. There's no coming back. Maybe your wife um, with my brother's keeper. I feel like someone didn't keep their brother's back. Uh, someone stabbed their brother in the back. Um, but let's tap in. So we have on the bottom of the deck, look at that power. So this is why, you know, you, you aren't to be messed with because you are powerful. Um, and I feel like your power has definitely been given to you by your angels and your guides uh, because you leveled up. You took the necessary steps. It's like you went through an initiation. And I also feel like you were uh, definitely um, there was some some um, preparation for you to get to this level. Like you didn't just wake up and become all powerful, all knowing. Um, you had to go through and grow through the, the pain. You had to grow through those lessons. Um, there was startling metamorphosis. There were rebirths and transformations and you had to brave all of that. And you did so and you still stood erect. Um, and I feel like that's why this time out here is, is here because this is you really learning and realizing that you are um, powerful. You know, you have that grand epiphany, you know, that you are a very magical being. You can manifest whatever your desired outcome is. And nobody uh, should ever be in any position where they could dictate um, your movements, your actions, your thoughts. Um, with the surrender here, I just get a sense of someone was very manipulative um, and they were definitely a gaslighter. And I feel like you uh, entrusted individuals, like I said, um, in the manner that you did because you, uh, you couldn't fathom someone uh, being downright dirty, grimy, because that wasn't your, your vibration towards them. 
but you learned the hard way that, you know, everything isn't what it appears to be. And with this power, I just feel like you became more luminous, um, more amplified perhaps in your psychic powers and in your intuitive um, energies and powers. Uh, and we have a tribe called Quest and this is called Excursions. So yeah, so I definitely feel like you, 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 you uh, saw some things uh, which led to you going on this whole new voyage. We got, um, I forgot to show you the split, but we do see summer here. So I do feel like something is going to reveal itself in the summer. And look at that. You're in a circle of protection. So your angels, your ancestors, your guides, just as I uh, have mentioned, are the ones protecting you. I feel like it's imperative to always protect yourselves, um, protect your energy, protect your home. I do feel like um, the summertime is going to be very revealing. Uh, I feel like you're going to have major success because I just see a lot of things blossoming for you. I, I feel like a lot of the seeds you've sown uh, during the hibernation, during those colder uh, times, you know, the cold, colder climates of, you know, where you were working and grinding and taking that time out to, you know, assess yourself, work on yourself, um, heal yourself. Um, all of those seeds will blossom and bloom and you will see uh, major success and change and transformation in your life. Protection is showing again. So I feel the spirit is saying you are uh, divinely protected from, you know, your enemies, your secret enemies and hidden enemies. Look at that showing yet again. So, you know, all of your hidden enemies, whoever is praying on Scorpio's downfall, let this be a warning shot. Let this be, you know, a forewarning for you all that you might want to leave Scorpios alone. I'm just saying, you know, and we got that Lord God masculine. That's the divine masculine, the emperor. Okay. So you emperors, remember with that, my brother's keeper, I feel like you all were definitely protected from whatever secret poise, whatever uh, hidden agendas, whatever attacks, schemes, scams, plots, plans. It's like you're protected because you're fully aware. You know, you're fully aware uh, because you all are sensitive and psychic as well. So you know, you know, you can feel the energy around you just as much. You know, so let's tap in. And that's why that four intuition is here as well, because you're highly intuitive. So let's tap in. Let's see who's praying. Let's put your down for a lot. we clarify these messages. Uh, spirit, peace, power, protection. And I wanted to use, you know, these cards because I really want to tap into this dark energy you all have had. These doubles showing up in your readers for the past, like, I want to say four readers. The devil just kept showing. So you have a bonus message there. Just jumped out of my hand. So we have on the bottom of the deck security. So spirit is saying amp up your security. I feel like you already got your security amped up. That black cat right there. You know, that black cat is on watch. And cats are very intuitive. They are um, very impervious to threats. So I feel like that's just speaking to you. So you have homecoming hearth. So a lot of you all, this is how you return to yourself, you know, but by doing the necessary work, doing that internal self audit, you return to yourselves after getting lost in your relations and your connections. Um, I feel like now there's the sense of, you know, um, having established like, you know, that foundation again, you know, having established that, that oneness, that connectedness. Um, we have uh, J. Cole, uh, adolescence playing and so I feel like we're about to clarify what you're attracting to you that is preying on your downfall with adolescence this is someone very childish very juvenile um, stunted emotionally remember we had the matrix playing um, when we were pulling these cards also and so I do feel like this is someone who's trapped mentally uh, with that number three I do get a sense of this some being someone because it says um, it says J. Cole and it, the name of the song has three and then it says adolescence. See that? And so with that adolescence and that number three, I'm just getting the sense of this being someone who's being very uh, strategic, you know, kind of like plotting and planning because with the two, that 91 and that 46, those are both break down to one because 91 is 10, that's one. And the 46 is 10, that's one. So that's two together. Uh, so whoever this high priestess energy, high priest energy is, um, I feel like they're very very immature i feel like they're very juvenile i feel like they project and deflect you know because that's what adolescents do they try to find everyone else as the fault um and not take any onus any accountability they have a me 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 i i i uh disposition this is someone who's also um just 
completely, um, if they feel entitled. Uh, so I do feel like with this energy, uh, this, this has turned into anger, frustration, angst. Um, and this is misappropriated anger, you know, like this is not, they, they, they are very juvenile. And it's because they realize like you're like the home and hearth, like you were their foundation. You were the centers of their universe. But I feel like you have taken the time to nurture yourself, to care for yourself, to do your inner work, because that one is also indicative of the root chakra, the base chakra. So you've been doing a lot of inner work. You've been taking the necessary time to heal from child wounds, traumas, pains, to heal from any type of familial traumas, to even just check yourself, to do that internal self audit, to make sure that you're not um, misappropriating any anger or whatever. But this is someone definitely, uh, spirit is telling you to be on um, high alert, you know, and I feel like you already are because that black cat is indicative of, you know, following and trusting your intuition as is this here is 22 what's hidden in the energy um you know so this is that same person and i feel like you are fully aware um that someone something is coming or that someone is a potential threat some of you may have a, a black cat some of you need to uh clean clear cleanse your homes um spring cleaning should already have been done but um you still got some time to get it done uh, get rid of old things, get, you know, to smudging and de, uh, you know, decluttering, um, de-dusting, you know, uh, getting rid of things, clothes, old clothing that you don't wear, um, old toys that your children may have, um, just give them away, give things away, you know, um, the, the whole goal is to be lighter, you know, you want to make yourself lighter, even with your livets, you know, change how you're eating and eat lighter, you know, um, drink more water, uh, because this will also make you more sensitive to the energies around you. Um, when you are all bloated and you overeating or you're eating the wrong things or you're doing the wrong things, um, it could really like, you know, calcify your pineal gland and you won't be as sharp as you need to be, or you won't be as in tune, um, you know, vibrationally, you won't get those downloads. Um, I feel like that's also why spirit was, uh, you know, encouraging someone to go out into um, nature, you know, because nature has an instant, you know, cleansing that it does. It really, really, you have an instant cleansing. And I see underneath here, look at this. This is what's underneath the deck. This is your energy. Literally everything I said about you, Scorpio, is taking that leadership role, controlling the reins of your lives, you know, going through personal growth, growing pains, you know, and following your dreams now, living your truth, living your dreams. And that's why there's some saltiness here, because you're doing you and you're doing it unapologetically. So let's tap in. So who is this person that's praying on Scorpio's downfall? Who is this person that Scorpio has praying on their downfall? They have a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. And we have um, Big L, Big Punisher, um, Fat Joe, Terror Squad, and this is called Bring Them Back. So this is someone that's trying to bring you back. This is that same person that wants you to surrender, to submit to them. This is that person that now is, you know, the, all of that happiness that they had um, is like is gone. You know, now they've become very disgruntled. I just feel a very disgruntled energy. And they're disgruntled because, you know, you have had this awakening, you know, you've returned to yourself. Homecoming is like, you know, you, you return back to the self. You got back to one, literally and figuratively. Divine spirit, peace, power, and protection. They have a message. Who is this praying on Scorpio's downfall? They have a message of peace. See how they're just secretly hiding? They are trying everything in their power to be private, to be quiet. Cards have not come out yet. There it is. See this? I can't make this up. Thank you, spirit. So whoever this is, this is someone that has it out for you because this is passion. This is passion. And that passion, that doesn't have to be like lust and love. That could be anger. Someone is very, very much. And that fire is associated. You know, now, if you think about fire and water, you know, what fire does, fire can, um, you know, it can heat up the water. So this can make something very intense in terms of, you know, the temperature, someone that boils your blood is what I'm hearing. Um, but this is someone also trying to conjure up something, you know, you see, she's like, she's working with the fire element. So this could be a fire sign that you all could have been dealing with. 
but this is that person that you once may have had so you thought some sort of harmony with this person you thought that there was some um you know perhaps there was some cohesiveness between you and this person uh this is someone that definitely wanted you to bow down to their every beck and call they de definitely wanted you to be obedient in some way um but they have this passion um to get what they want so this is that that high priestess that's working with the fire element um to to manifest and that fire could you know the water can extinguish this fire as well um but when i think of heat and i think you know the fire element and the water element i just think of this being someone that really angers you this is someone that really uh likes to come in and and say things or do things that are going to trigger you uh to becoming upset so i feel like whoever that person is um, they know you are an alchemist. They know you are very uh, powerful in your own right. And so this is why it took a while for this energy uh, to jump out. Because I feel like this person is privately and quietly uh, conjuring this up. They're trying to bring some sort of uh, circumstance. They're, they're, like, they're about to take action with this. Uh, whatever this is, they're conjuring it up. They're conjuring it up. See how the flames are building and growing and that that feminine this could be a feminine energy or a masculine doesn't matter um but this is someone that's privately secretly doing this and that's why spirit is telling you to pay attention to your intuition um with this non-completion i definitely feel like this is someone who's just salty because you cut their asses off but with this alchemist you know you are equally magical um and you have divine knowledge you have divine knowledge straight from source and we already saw several times spirit show that you're protected. They showed you in the circle of protection. That's not only saying you're protected, but it's also them saying protect yourselves as well. Um, by doing spiritual baths, by cleansing your homes, by making sure to smudge, by being mindful of you know your surroundings, but, and also making sure to cut off what doesn't serve you anymore. Um, but with this alchemist, I am strongly feeling like you were very instrumental um, in the growth, in the uh, transformation, like you didn't just sit back and ride the wave, like you really were um, very um, physical, like you 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 were um, doing the work, like you you were very busy doing the work. Remember, we had worker um, man by Pan Patra, and so I just feel like you you worked very hard at accomplishing, um, you know this 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 completion of accomplishing this goal or reaching this level of completion um so that's powerful and we have um jay-z where i'm from so whoever this is this is someone that could be from the same um same borough you're from i'm hearing from the same city state or town this is someone that could be from the same family so let's have to so how do they feel about scorpios thank you spirit thank you got at the bottom of the deck respect so your ancestors i feel are respecting you because a lot of you definitely are doing your due diligence to you know perhaps light your protective candles your fire and wall of protection candles perhaps you're lighting baba ogun candles maybe you're just lighting you know um removing obstacles out of your way uh but you're doing your due diligence to protect your space to protect your home your finances your belongings um and even your health um but we have here how they feel about you so we have this fertility card that flew out. Um, so someone may feel like you belong to them. They feel like this connection to you. Um, but they also feel that you are in um, harmony. You know, you are balanced because that masculine and feminine energy is just, you know, speaking to yin yang. So they feel you're very harmonized whilst they are, you know, lacking harmony because uh, they're at a 10 with this domestic harmony. So this could very well be like an old, um, an, I said an old, an ex husband or an ex uh wife or um perhaps you know like i said a family member uh sibling a friend um but they see that you are now in harmony um with this fertility card fertility is uh in another deck another one of my decks it is the um empress energy so whoever that is they have some sort of burning desire to perhaps take you out of harmony um to bring you back perhaps to their level uh, because they see you as just being very balanced. 
very grounded. You already have established boundaries. And because of that, that's why you are coming off very harmonized. Um, they also see that you have a very strong connection to your angels, ancestors, deities, that you may implement your own practices to build and develop that connection. They also, look at this, Lord God, masculine. So they see you as very powerful as a leader, as a boss. You know, whatever you're doing, they see you as bossing up. Uh, because the emperor is like the entrepreneur. Um, the empress is the entrepreneur. The, um, you know, they are the ones that build, um, you know, from that one idea and turn it into, uh, you know, a, 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 a Fortune 500 business. They become the moguls. They become that, those, those, um, those entrepreneurs that turn that thought into reality because they took action. So they see you as being very instrumental in your own transformation um, and of obtaining this newfound balance. And that is very attractive, but it's also a reason why they are, um, you know, raging, you know, they're jealous, they're envious. I just get a sense of like, you know, just very uh, jealous and envious of, you know, your growth of your um, the respect that you're even garnering from your angels and ancestors, just approving you, um, the respect you may have received from others. Some of you all, uh, with this respect card here, and we're about to pull, um, the card for what's hidden, the intuition card, about to clarify that. I feel like spirit respects the fact that you are now very, it's like you're very sensitive, um, you don't waver anymore. Maybe in the past you used to question, second guess. And then after the fact, you'd be like, damn, I should have listened to my intuition. You don't do that anymore. It's like now you get a feeling, a sensation, something tells you that. You 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 immediately react or respond in the way that you're supposed to. And I feel like a lot of that has to do with um, no longer being trapped in this thought process of having to appease and please other people. Um, you're doing things that are going to be beneficial to you because you've now prioritized yourself. Um and that's the most important. The two is associated with the, the sacral chakra. And the sacral chakra is really about moving to the beat of your drum and prioritizing your life. It's also about, um, you know, discovering your your power, your true power. Um, and and, and I'm finding that balance, finding that that a balance and, and that confidence to embark upon it. Um, so with this respect, I feel like something, um, some respect is going to be garnered. Like I said, I saw the six of wands. Uh, so I felt like there was going to be recognition and rewards, um, blessings coming from your angels and ancestors. But I feel like with this, the, the candles um, and just this, this showing uh, the intention that's being set, I feel like spirit has taken notice, has taken, excuse me, I'm getting blocked. My throat is getting blocked. Ugh. Pardon me. So that's probably what you had to do, like not trust words, just trust your intuition. And that's what that's what you now um, are going by. This is what you respect more is your intuition. You use that over anything else. But I feel spirit is definitely um, rewarding you for uh, for being obedient. And so we have um, we have Jay Lib and this is called the official. So you're definitely official. It's, it's been it's been state. It's been claimed that that you're official, and it's official that some sort of reward is coming. And we have the awakening card here on the bottom of the deck. So some of you have absolutely awakened to your purpose, your life passion, your mission, why you are here, and um, that's the great awakening. And I feel like with that awakening comes great rewards and success because that's something that you. Um, completely love you enjoy it and when you do what you love and you put that passion and that intensity um, into it it's only going to be successful it's only going to um, be fruitful for you so we have um, we have manifestation here so you are manifesting so there was some sort of uh, somebody could be attempting to put a spell on you and that's why spirit is telling you to trust your intuition and I feel like that's that person here that we see conjuring up, you see the flames. It's like this, you know, saying, um, you know, some sort of, uh, some sort of um, read, you know, R E D E. You know, they 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 they're speaking some sort of intention into the flame. So someone could be utilizing this this flame to to uh, to um, to affect something you're doing. But you're intuitive. 
And that's why Spirit had that security card uh, that we saw said security. So it's like tighten up security because this spell, it goes a feather. So I feel you're good. I feel you're in good hands because your angels and ancestors are telling you to listen to your intuition. So it's almost like Spirit is telling you, look out, watch them, watch out. Like they're giving you those nudges, those downloads. And then we have um, shower rates. So some of you all could be um, having some sort of, because I, I feel not only are you, you know, attracting, you know, or, or you have someone on your heels that's preying on your downfall. But as I said earlier, I feel like you're just attractive right now and you could be attracting, you know, um, you know, your, your divine counterparts, you could be attracting, you know, some powerful connections, powerful partnerships and building some powerful alliances with some folks. Some of you all, what's hidden is there is uh, someone manifesting you or you could be manifesting privately and it's coming whether you realize it or not um, There goes the security I was just speaking to so spirit is absolutely telling you to tighten up your security Because someone is working some sort of um, spell This is what's hidden and we could see it here. That's why that too And it's because you're having some sort of success. So they're trying to um, They're trying to sabotage something this also could be someone trying to manifest love because that two is this, two two reduces to four, which is associated with the heart chakra. So some of you all could be manifesting love, or someone could be um, trying to manipulate your energy in some way. Let's tap in, and then we have tarot cards. So I can't make this up. So someone's definitely um, doing some sort of uh, they're channeling. They're using some sort of means to to tap in tap into someone else's energy to manipulate someone's energy because with spell tarot cards and the, the security here this is like a warning shot this is like spirit saying like you know tighten up your security you may need to like put some sort of um you know like sprinkle some some salt around your home sea salt you could even use black salt you could even um put like a sigil you know, on your door, tape it above your door. You could even, um, you know, smudge clean, clear your, your home. Definitely wash your floors. You can get some Florida water, wash your floors, wipe things down. But there's absolutely, undubitably someone behind the scenes trying to manipulate your energy. And I feel like they're doing readings on you. They could be doing things to try to figure out what your weakness is or what your, um, try to figure out a way to, 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 to get into your um, your energy field. And Spirit is telling you to, you know, but you're intuitive. You're very psychic because that same card I was speaking of, it was right in my hand and I didn't know it. And that black cat always alludes to the fact of, you know, your intuition. You know, Scorpios are very impervious to threat. So you could be picking up on this. And then we have the spring. So I feel like something is uh, about to spring into action. I feel like you are already springing into action. A lot of you have already done your spring cleaning. A lot of you already got all that dust and all that, you know, old, you know, heavy energy out. And so this is what's going to allow for you to see and, and be able to use your first eye to see and see what's hidden. I feel with this awakening, also some of you definitely um, are awakening to what you are here to do. So let's tap in. Thank you, Spirit. That was a quick message. And so we have magic here. Magic. Always use your powers for good. If anybody's using their powers for bad, they're going to have to reap what they sow. And then we have winter. And so with this winter here, the watchtower, someone's definitely watching you. I get a sense of you having like a spy. Someone definitely could be trying to figure out how to block something or close something up. Because remember when we was... Um, pulling your energy and this person and how they feel about you. We saw numb. So with this spiritual career and then this winter, I just get a sense of like, you know, that that they are um there's this this uh coldness. Somebody has this 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 this, this oh man, I can't even explain it. It's like they're watching you with this disdain. I just get disdain. I get jealousy. And then we got this magic here trying to, because it's like, they see that you are magical. They see that you're powerful, that you're tapping into your divinity, that you're very intuitive. 
um, that you are the Magi, the Alchemist, that you are um, very powerful because your energy came out as, you know, um, an alchemist. You know, when we was pulling your card, that card was in the bottom of the deck. So it's almost as if they, they're like in this competition as I was picking up earlier. You know, they feel like you, they, they want, they don't want to see things flourish for you. You know, they don't want to see things grow. But I feel with the outcome, you know, whatever this is, this watchtower, whoever this is that's watching, perhaps they're going to take action. Because we have with this magic, I feel something has been sent out into the ethers. So you're protecting yourself. Let me get one more card to clarify this um, 78 spiritual career and watchtower. Because I just get a feeling like this is that same cold person, that same, you know, that person that is just like, maybe that's what they're conjuring up to freeze things up in your spiritual career. Because this is that fire, that flame. And so maybe they're trying to freeze something up. Maybe they're doing freezer spells. This is the outcome. Spirit, may I have another message to clarify? Watchtower for the outcome for my beautiful Scorpios. May I have a message of peace, power, and protection. And we have secret. And so you see that? The Book of Shadows. Somebody's definitely conjuring up some ish. You got a lot of magic cards, but you're protected. Thank you, Spirit. So whoever this person is, Remember, we saw this a couple of times and Spirit kept saying you're protected and it flew back out. So whoever this person is that's kind of trying to conjure up something to freeze, like to cause some freeze, financial freeze, or to, to, to freeze up your finances or your success or your abundance, Spirit said you're protected. So you are protected from this person. Whoever this person is, they have some um, jealousy. They're trying to freeze up your money, trying to freeze up some sort of access to success. But they are not in control of that. So they can't do that. But we saw a spell. We saw all these cards. They're doing everything in their power. That's why Spirit is telling you, look alive. Keep your head on a swivel. Because you got some very dark energy here that's preoccupied with you. And it's because you've taken your power back. This is that card of leadership. That's what the, the Emperor does. That's what the Empress does. They lead. And you lead because you now know your power and your worth. This person was someone that you may have really... Um, I don't want to make it seem like you buckled to them, but you could have been very meek. You know, you, you, you may not have been as assertive when it came to this person. And, you know, when you were in that um, mindset, it was easier for them to manipulate you. But the moment you broke free, you created that boundary. They no longer had that control, that power. And as I said, I feel like you may be their pool of knowledge. You may be their pool of ideas. They may have even gotten their life force from you. Because you were always the source. You were always the hearth, the home. And now it, their waters run dry. You know what I'm talking about? And so with the secret, you got a secret hater. This is a hidden enemy. This is a secret, you know, um, that is hidden in plain sight. But I feel like you got their number because you are protected. And with protection here, you are protected. Spirit's also telling you to protect yourselves. And so we have the stability, intention underneath that. See that? Look at that. And guardian. See that? Familiar. This is someone you're familiar with. And your angels and ancestors are also telling you. There goes that black cat again. So you are protected. Your angels, they're protecting you. They're guiding you. Some of you all may see frogs. You may have um, some connection to a frog. But you are protected. I feel like Spirit's also telling you to set your intention you could be the one that's doing your magic to protect yourselves, you know, um, but you are off to some brand new beginning, brand new voyage. And that could be what someone is trying to um, derail is this new um, venture, this new opportunity, this new start. So let's tap in, brothers. And we have Patrick, uh, Patra again, and this is called Queen of the Pack. So you are the queen of the pack. Or the king of the pack. So you have absolutely reached that level of self-mastery. And there is some jealousy, disdain. And um, because of it. You know what I'm talking about? So let's tap in, beloveds. Let's see what we got from the tarot cards. We're going to pull some messages. All right, I'm always pulling from Dark Wimoir. And Spirit is telling me to get some messages from Hoodoo. So we're going to see who is trying to do this Hoodoo on you do. <laughs> So let's tap in below. So we see we got the eight of sticks on the bottom of the decks and we got um, the nine of coins on the split. So that's what the hate is. That's what the hate is. 
This is like somebody that's coming full steam ahead. And you sitting here booked and busy. You over here working, doing your own thing. There's yet another cat. And remember what I said, cats are impervious to threat. So there could be some uh, some unexpected news or something coming in, shooting at you. But you are sitting here booked and busy. This is you, independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant. You doing your, your, your own thing. Let's tap in, beloveds. Let's see. Let's bring the Scorpio down for a while. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. I see the fire here. This is the father of sticks. This is that same person that's conjuring up whatever here. They're using fire. You can see the flame there. And then that's the flame. So this could be, you know, an ex. This could be someone. They really got it out for you, though. Because with that eight of wands, it's like they said, they said, they want to rush that through quickly. And that's why spirit was like, look, you, you, you better get your, you, you know, your security system on deck. We got the ten of baskets. This could be an ex. This could be family members. Something happens. Something ends it. Some, some sort of breakup, some sort of breakdown. But you had a major breakthrough because of it. Spirit is telling you to pay attention, to use your intuition. There's some messages coming through. Someone could have been also, like I said, very um, immature because remember we had J. Cole we're adolescent. So someone, I was picking up like someone in their second and third childhood. And I feel like that was just confirmed. See this here? Father Sims. So this is that energy, you know, of really setting intention. That's how they could see you sitting here really manifesting and creating, being that alchemist, transforming and changing. This is the moon. This is what's hidden. Right, spirit of love and light. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection from my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Who's praying on their downfall and why? And he's praying on your downfall because you are stable. You're self-sufficient. You're living your best life. You're doing your own thing. And we have uh, most death. So someone sees that you are very magical. You got the father of baskets. You ain't paying attention to nobody that doesn't have no good energy and vibration. That don't have nothing to add on to the build. There goes that six of wands I was picking up. This is the victories and the success for you. This is why there's a lot of hatred because this is what you've worked hard for. You've been doing the work. Like I said, with Worker Man by Patrick was playing, I feel like that's what you was doing. You was very, very diligent, very focused. You didn't get distracted. You didn't even get discouraged when it got hard. You just kept working at it. You kept mastering that crap. I'm hearing late nights and early AMs, you was at it. And this energy right here, this is what you've earned. This is why you got a lot of folks that could be hating. I was picking up the victory because we opened up the reading and it was six. So let's tap in. We're going to cut the deck three times. You know how I do. Let me get my stone. My spirit of peace, power, and protection. Let me get a message from my beautiful Scorpios and who's praying on that downfall spirit. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Who's praying on, praying on Scorpios downfall? You're going to hear me trickling and fumbling on my words. All month because Mercury is going retrograde in 421. So the bottom of the deck, we have this clarifying. So this is the three of the six of coins. Pardon me. So the six of coins. So this is that energy where you could have been, you know, feeling like you were being breadcrumbed. But I also get a sense of like you really started to um, ask for what you needed. You may have started to call on your angels, your ancestors, and they may have started to provide you, you know, um, the necessary um uh, means to to getting what you what you wanted because i feel like with the individuals around you you know they were perhaps you know kind of like just using you for what you had um but i feel strongly with the six of the coins like you had to establish your own sense of independence self-sufficient i feel like you also invested a lot in those connections and didn't feel like you received a return on your investment like you worked very hard to to you know nurture those relationships and and, and really build the circle of trust. And you felt like they just kind of breadcrumbed um, and did the bare minimums. Um, and now this is what's leading you back to the self is like knowing your own worth, knowing your own value. I also feel like spirit has also um, given you some sort of grace uh, by, you know, offering, um, providing some sort of generous offer uh, to get you back to one. Um, to get you back to the self, to making you realize, um, you know, that you, you got to focus on you uh, moving forward. You know, you can't help anybody that's not trying to help themselves. I also feel like this is just showing that you, uh, with those dice, I just feel like, you know, I'm hearing, like, you took a gamble. Um, 
and and we all do you know but you know may, you may have felt like um you know you didn't get what you invested and so you may have felt very um you know dissatisfied by that which is why you kind of pulled away from everything everyone because you were kind of like bankrupt at that point you know and with the um we have digi uh, uh, diggable planets and this is called um ninth wonder yeah so with that ninth <laughs> you are nine you know this is how that person you're attracting um, feels about you is nine so the ninth wonder the ninth wonder is really um saying just how magical how powerful how rare you are so this person here um they know it's the end the garden is the end this is the world card so that 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 one that 31 rather um I mean, that 21 part of me reduces to three. So this person is really broken. They're hurting because they know it's the end. This could be why they're conjuring up uh, all this energy. You know, like I said, that 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 anger and that frustration, you know, from being um, left behind uh, from you now, you know, having this new chapter that you're starting, you know, because you've literally um, you've ended something. You've created distance. You've created space. Um, you're no longer dealing with this person. You may be single now, you know, living in your own home because remember we have homecoming and hearth and then we're about to pull the card for the person that you have attracting you and we got the world card there so that just speaks to, you know, some sort of ending of a cycle and learning some valuable lessons. Um, so let's tap in. So who is this person that Scorpios have praying on their dance floor? Why is this 91 Surrender, 46 Domestic Harmony, and this fire passion here for my beloved Scorpios? And a message of peace, power, and protection. Who's praying on their dance floor and why? And a message of peace, power, and protection. Who's praying on their dance floor and why? And with ninth wonder, I just feel like because you're single, that nine is giving me the nine of pentacles we kept seeing. Look at that. The three of baskets. So this is someone who is definitely, um, you know, wanting a reunion or trying to manifest or conjure up some sort of um, reunion with you. Like this is someone with the three of baskets, C could be someone that played you in the past where, uh, you know, third parties with the nine. Look at this nine of baskets here. Remember the nine, ninth wonders playing and we're about to pull the card after this. And this is what's on the bottom of the deck, the nine of baskets. And you are the nine completion. So whoever this is, they may be coming into some sort of grand epiphany, um, you know, of of your power, you know, of your superpower, you know, of who you are, you know, because how they feel about you with the three of baskets, like they feel like they was boo boo the fool for having that little entanglement, whatever that was, you know, maybe their passions was something that they listened to. Maybe they was definitely hot and bothered, somebody that could have been dealing with incubus succubus. You know, somebody could have been under some sort of spell themselves and they could have been trying to do some sort of spell, whatever the case may be. This is what they are feeling, the three of baskets. Threes are always, um, you know, uh, the three with the two is giving me five. So they definitely are um, feeling a little frustrated because they, they know that there's uh, some competition. Um, they're also feeling a little confused and conflicted. Um, this is somebody that was very smug in the past because I'm also getting like the five of swords, like somebody who tried to win at all costs, someone who is just very like selfish, self-centered, um, very entitled, uh, especially with that 91 surrender. They expected you to just kind of like fold to their needs or just, you know, appease them. Um, and maybe this is someone that you could have really, um, I think that there was a, a level of um, enablement perhaps. Um, by not putting your foot down initially and it just this person just grew worse but with this three and this two and you know there that's five so I get the five of baskets um, all together is I feel they have regrets now um, and their regrets and their remorse and their shame has somehow turned into um, you know perhaps obsession you know maybe possession um, and maybe even some anger and disappointment and frustration how they see you is the nine of baskets. So in their mind, you are their wish fulfillment, but they also see that you are being very selfish with your energy and your time because you are now guarded. You are now established or have established boundaries. They see you now as knowing your worth and your power. They see you now as absolutely having a divine connection with your angels and ancestors. And they also see that you are balanced, grounded, and in alignment. So they know that they are... Um, 
about to get left behind. But you are selfish loving you, yourself, and you now. You're no longer giving. You're no longer, um, you know, just pouring into these empty vessels, um, you know, that have holes at the bottom of it. Um, you're no longer investing in anyone that is not matching your flying vibration. Um, you're focusing on yourself. You're focusing on your interests um, and your master manifesting what you desire. Uh, you have learned to invest in yourself. You have learned to prioritize yourself. So let's tap in. And so we have, um, oh man, this is a scary message. So we got Ninja Man and the name of this song is called Murder Them. And we're about to pull the card for how they feel about you. So for some of you all, remember we had that alarm going off, the siren going off. Um, so just be mindful. Some of you may have someone that's so, so angry that they may try to hurt you or inflict pain. So just protect yourself and keep and maintain um, distance, you know, maintain that distance, keep your head on a swivel, um, you know, but with murder them, you know, and, and, and ninja man is giving me a sense of like, you know, cause ninjas, um, you know, they, they are very, um, they're very, um, very agile. They're very, uh, you, you wouldn't even know a ninja's there because they're very silent. They're light on their feet. Uh, so I just feel like with you, uh, I feel like that's your energy. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just, because sometimes we call little um, Katara, my black cat Katara, um, like a little ninja. You know, we call her a little ninja because she's just, sometimes she'd be hiding out. We don't even see her. And then she just comes out of the blue, you know. So that's that's your energy. So if they are plotting to try to hurt you, I feel like you're going to be able to protect yourself. That's why security showed up. Um, and that's why you have this protection here. Because your angels and ancestors are protecting you and giving you, um, you know, that that uh, that 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 heightened um, you know, clairvoyant, uh, you know, uh, energy, if you will, with this nine of swords on the bottom of the deck, this is how they feel about you. Very confused, very conflicted. Look at that up in their head. They know this situation is dead, stinking and buried. And this is what's agonizing them because it's almost like they sabotage themselves by trying to be too controlling, too overbearing, by wearing a mask, by being fake or fugazi, uh, by thinking the grass would be greener on the other side, perhaps. By disrespecting you or betraying your trust, and now they're stuck here, you know, riddled with remorse and regret. So how they feel about you is the six of baskets. They want to return, you know, they want to return. They want to be, I feel like, you know, this is someone that's realizing that they've made a mistake, um, but they want to return because they know it's the end, you know, and I'm hearing that song by New Edition. Is this the end? <laughs> Like, I literally heard that wild, like, mad loud in my mind's eye. And so they're trying to return back to you to convince you, like, oh, you know, I want to repair this. I want to, you know, I want to heal this. Um, they do want to come back. This could be somebody that definitely, um, you know, could be someone different, completely different, um, that does have some sort of attraction towards you. Uh, because, you know, when you come off, like I said, as, as someone very confident, very strong, very, um, you know, even very, um, you know, in that leadership energy, it's it's attractive. You know, you attract people that look at you like, wow, you know, they they could they go in places. Um, but so this could be someone from your past, um, you know, that really secretly admires you. Um, but this could also be someone um, that could have breadcrumbed you in the past, and now they have these regrets, and they want to come back and right their wrong, justify themselves but this is that same person that you have to keep in mind that was breadcrumbing you before because with the six of coins this is what led to your great um epiphany your grand epiphany of putting everything um you know on pause so that you can go within and do work on yourself uh but this is someone trying to return someone you know uh because there is an ending there is distance emotional physical mental um, there's just distance. You've created that distance is necessary because you didn't feel reciprocity initially. Um, definitely felt like you were being used and abused. Uh, but let me get one more message for who this person is, for how they feel about Scorpio and why, uh, why they're praying on Scorpio's downfall. You could also be having someone come into your life, like someone um, that you know from a past life. Um, you know that could be returning. You'd be coming into a whole new, beautiful. Uh, connection and relationship because remember you had Beltane fertility so you could be birthing a whole new relationship with someone and they could be hating you for the fact that you have found love in a whole new connection 
you know this could be someone really hating the fact that you've moved on with your life for real for real not only in terms of leaving them behind um and and you know coming into your power and 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 obtaining success and and um growing uh but also in terms of now new finding new love you know because the six of love uh cups is like someone returning uh that you may have had a dope connection to and this person is coming in uh, to give. This is someone nurturing. This is someone loving, you know, um, so they could be hating on the fact that you're choosing uh, this connection. So let's tap in one more message for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why. Thank you, Spirit. We have on the bottom of the deck, we have the five of baskets. So that is somebody that has regrets. I feel like they're going to, they're literally sitting here watching you. Yep. See that? The four of baskets. So this is that same person that realizes that they made a very big mistake because that same three of baskets this is the person that you're attracting. That's what came up for the person that is preying on your downfall. Now they have this four baskets because they're watching you come into a whole new relationship, whole new connection, but they did not accept this connection for what it was. They didn't realize how beautiful, how uh, sacred. They didn't realize your beauty or didn't realize um, the magnitude of this connection until you left. And so now they're seeing you are coming into a very sacred union with someone that you're going to have a very beautiful uh, chemistry synergy with. And now they're singing their coulda, shoulda, would is because the divine timing. Look, they missed the opportunity, the window of opportunity. They feel like it's a missed opportunity. And this is why they're having this anger. This is why they have this re these regrets. You got the three, the four, and the five. This is that same person. So now they have these major regrets, and this could be why they're now conjuring up some spell to try to block love or to try to um, sabotage some new connection. And spirit is telling you to, you know, to look alive and to trust your intuition because someone could be trying to manifest something uh, negative in your life because they're miserable. And it's one, one, one on the clock. And that's three. So this is definitely um, that same, you know, energy of. Um, you know, you being in that Empress energy, being very radiant at this time. And so what's the name of the song? This is Dave East and Gunna, and this is called Every Day. So every day, so every day this person thinks of you, every day this person is uh, perhaps working out a plan or mapping out some sort of plan or, you know, trying to figure out how to conjure up a plan um, to, to enforce something to enforce this spell or to push this spell through. Let's tap in though. So why is 22 intuition spell, um, security, tarot cards, and spring here? And so we have, see that the five of knives, I mentioned the five of knives. So this is someone that's gonna be speaking with a forked tongue. This is definitely somebody that has it out for you. Like this is somebody that wants to win at all costs. I feel like this is someone that's very angry that you've moved on. And so, as I said, that, that, you know, initial feeling of disappointment has turned into rage and anger and frustration. And so they could be lying about, you know, lying on you, lying to other people or just like words of spells, spells bind is what I'm hearing. But with this five of knives, I get a sense of this person, you know, being that same individual that tried to win at all costs. This is someone that is, feels very entitled and they feel like, you know, maybe you, you, um, maybe you've overcome something, but they are not over it. You know, they're, they're not over this situation. And there goes that same eight of sticks. This person is going to like charge full steam ahead. But this five of swords is just speaking to, you know, that same energy of someone who could have been very cold, you know, with the way that they spoke to you in the past. What's hidden is I feel like this person is now having to eat every negative thing they may have said. They got it. They, they, they have, you know, to to bite their own tongue because they're watching you have major success in your life. You're also, you know, manifesting. So your angels and ancestors are also assisting you with manifesting newness in your life. Um, you're also very protected and guarded. So you're not allowing anybody into your life. You're not allowing anyone to uh, just come in. This person may use um words to try to convince you uh that they've changed and spirit is reminding you that words are not what you are to listen to it's the actions that you are to watch someone could say all the right things because they use their words for you know to manipulate and to you know confuse to gaslight and so i feel like you know with this here with guidance 
you know, they could be perhaps watching tarot readings, like I said, or just trying to learn, um, you know, your energy or trying to figure out some sort of angle so that they can take action, so that they can send out whatever that, that spell or that ritual or that psychic attack, whatever that is. But they're using words, like the words are, I keep hearing words or spells, spells bind. So be mindful of your words as well. Let me get one more message to clarify what's hidden in the energy from my beautiful Scorpios and who's praying on their downfall. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Thank you. See that? The seven of baskets. So there is someone that got you on their brain heavily. You're like in this person's head. They're in the bath thinking about ways to conjure up some nonsense or how to, to, to put some sort of um, negative or evil intention into motion they're sitting around thinking about it and spirit is saying look you need to you know clean clear cleanse yourself take some spiritual baths because there is somebody that is definitely trying to figure out um you know a means and method to um you know sabotage in some sort of peace that you may be having um i'm also getting a strong sense that you have um many options there's going to be many doors or windows of opportunity that presents themselves and some of these doors are not good um some of these opportunities are not opportunities at all these are individuals coming in looking to be opportunistic so be mindful use your intuition because with that cloud over that feminine ten, um, head or that masculine's head um i just get a sense of like you know um someone really uh Mind upping another person, gaslighting another person, um, confusing another person so that they can let their walls down, their, their, their guards down. And remember, Spirit said to maintain your security. So maintain your defenses, maintain your boundaries. Don't let anybody come in and, um, you know, convince you that, you know, everything is good. Um, we also have uh, dumb bones. And so them bones, this is also, you know, just veggie backing off the fact that somebody is, you know, perhaps getting a reading on you. Somebody could be, you know, kind of going to a spiritual practitioner um, to learn something or to figure out, you know, maybe they even go into somebody to uh, to do some sort of spell work on you. Um, and that's why this protection card is here. Um, be mindful to use your intuition. Um, be mindful to, uh, you know, stay ahead of the game. And to not fall behind because somebody is absolutely getting readings or getting some sort of um, consultations, spiritual consultations to have uh, some more insight uh, to you. And we got the father of knives. See that? The father of knives right underneath that. And um, what's inside of that basket is the clock. So this is all, you know, spirit is saying the timing. Someone's being very meticulous because remember the two high priestess that's what's hidden so they're being very patient very meticulous um you know to act out whatever this is and remember with spiritual career and that winter you know um coming out i feel like someone was trying to dry up or freeze up something um for you but let's tap in beloved so let's tap in um why is the 78 spiritual career uh winter card and uh, magic oracle protection here for the outcome for my beautiful scorpio and who's praying on their downfall? May I message peace, power, and protection spirit? Let me see who's praying on their downfall. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection for the outcome. Thank you, spirit. You saw how that jumped out? And we have on the bottom of the deck, look at the nine of sticks. This is your energy. Who wants what? What is better protection? God or guns? You know what I'm talking about? So you're guarded and you're not having it. So whatever this person or whoever these individuals are that's trying to manipulate your energy, you're trusting what spirit told you. And you can see on the back of those, um, you know, those sticks that there's some skulls. So she, you, you already bodied a couple of people that, that, that was sleeping on you, you know, and you're willing to, to fight to the death to protect yourself. That's what this card is all about. Spirit is saying protect yourself by any, by any means and any strategy. We also have a common. So they're telling you use your common sense. Your common sense is pretty much your... Your intuition is your sixth sense. So trust what you feel, your gut instinct, your intuition. That 78 reduces to 15, that six, that's your first eye. Use your first eye to see. And then we have that five of coins. So whoever this individual is, this is somebody that feels left out in the cold. This is definitely someone that feels like things done dried up for them. Look how this person is wearing like, you know, like rags, you know. 
So this is someone that definitely feels rejected. They feel like you've left them behind. But I feel also your angels and ancestors have set you up for success after being left out in the, you know, um, left out in, in, in the cold or being rejected or being abandoned or being this, you know, um, taken for granted. It's like your ancestors are now crowning you a king or crowning you queen. They're the ones that are protecting you. They're the ones that are anointing you, uh, you know, um, and, and blessing you with the gifts to have a successful spiritual career. So you are being anointed by your guides, your deities, your ancestors. This could be a mother, a father, or a grandmother, or a grandfather. And so that's why you are protected. You're protected from any type of misfortune. And I feel like the winter time, you know, that's really um, a time of hibernation. And perhaps that's the time when you all was just mastering your craft and fine tuning your skills, honing your skills, your gifts, your talents. But I also, I also feel like your your spirit team because you know you have a very strong connection um, with your your ancestors. You know you do dedicate a lot of time in your altars. You may have several different altars in your home, and it is because of that your angels and ancestors are the ones that are protecting you from whoever this secret enemy is. Whoever this hater is, and they're telling you, you know, guard yourself, you know, and and she is or he is. She got the basic instructions before leaving Earth, and she also have her weapon. Like who wants what? So that nine of wands is boundaries. That's why the completion is here. That's your energy, your vibration, your frequency. See that? Walking away from things that don't honor you, don't serve you, and standing your ground because you know your worth and value. Not allowing yourself to be juggled. Someone is now seeing you in your your power with that ghoul of black. That's like the hangman. Yeah, you ain't having it. So that's powerful. So let's tap in, beloved. Let's see what we got coming in, going out, going. It's on. And we're just going to use a, my deck to, to further clarify the message. And then we're going right up. This is a good message, beloved. I like it. I like what I see. Shay, so we have, what is this? Ah, look at that. I love it. Protected from your secret enemies. And this is actually a side joke. So this is beautiful. So this is just confirming what just came out with that protection card. So you are protected from your enemies and your secret enemies. And they're, they're only hating because you're having some fresh start. They're only hating because you have um, persevered from whatever nonsense that they have been trying to um, pull over you for quite some time. Some of you all could have been in relationships for up to 10 years. Uh, some of you all could have known um, some of these individuals for 30 years. If these were friends, you could have went to school with them, grew up with them, and they did you dirty, maybe 22 you know, years. Maybe somebody, like I said, was born in 1978. Well, let's tap in spirit. So let's clarify these messages and then we'll wrap it out. So why spirit? Why is this 37 time out? The hearth card homecoming the six of coins here for the uh, outcome for my beautiful Scorpios. See that? The world. So this was the learning lesson. That's the world card in my deck. It says as the world turned. And what it has is the sun, moon, and stars. So I feel like, you know, you have learned major lessons. You know, this is really like that ending and a new fresh start because you have gained, you know, that understanding and knowledge of self. You know, you've come into spiritual alignment. You've gained that wise don't. Um, you've learned to navigate. You've experienced and uh, have obtained a different perspective um, on life, you know. And I feel like, you know, perhaps the breadcrumbing that could have been done in the past or the lack of reciprocity or the usury that you may have felt um, could have triggered this this grand epiphany, which had you returning back to the self, which had you working on the self. Because the one is like the Ace of Cups where you go through that purification process and heal that self um, and learn to, you know, transmute any pain and turn it into power so that you could be on your new voyage so you, you can you know, start to set new intentions for yourself. We have regal, royal, there's levels and you supersede them, diamond in the rough. So this person knows that now, uh, cause remember we had ninth wonder with how they see you feel about you. I feel now this person is realizing, which is why they're kicking themselves in the ass that you are in fact, the diamond in the rough, that you are in fact, um, you know, a very sacred, very beautiful person, 
uh, and they could have been using you for your wealth of knowledge, for your energy. Like I said, this is someone that could have been like a leech, a parasite, um, and they are now uh, without that access. So they feel, um, you know, this anger, this frustration. So let's tap in spirit. So who is this hating and praying on Scorpio's downfall? May I have a message of peace, power, and protection. Bottom of the deck, it says, do something for yourself. Watch a sunset, take a drive, uh, purchase some lingerie, some boxers, piece of jewelry, love on you. That's how you're taking care of you now. See that? And look at that. So this is someone that says, rare breed, black sheep, misunderstood, Mr. Understood. So this is someone that definitely could have been conflicted. It says, flighty, ins and outs, impulsive, unreliable. And then we also have blocka, 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 I think snata. So that's what you have done. This is that person here. You've blocked this person because of their flightiness, because they could have been entangling in other entanglements. And so you said, I'm done. But in your absence, this person realized that you were a rare breed and they misunderstood you. They didn't realize that you were that regal royal, uh, you know, uh, diamond in the rough. And their flightiness is what landed um, you know, which was what resulted in them losing you and not only losing you, but you blocking them out because that's literally what this timeout is and what this nine completion is. And that's literally what this energy right here is all about. Uh, you're protecting your energy by any means, any strategy. And so now they have a lot of frustration and angst and you're doing you. This is that loving me, myself and I type of vibration. You're no longer overcompensating, appeasing or giving to anyone. You're pouring into yourself now because you realize love is an inside job. So why is nine completion, uh, fertility, um, Lord God, the altar, six of cups for a basketeer, for how this person Scorpio uh, has hating and depending on their downfall, feel about them. We have a message of peace, power, protection, spirit. And a message of peace, power, and protection. You have a lot of cards. So I'm going to shuffle them. And have spirit, thank you, spirit. And we have you are so worth it and they will prove it to you. So this is what somebody is coming back saying. Because that's why that six of cups is here. You know, they realize you're worth it. So this person praying on your downfall, you know, they could see, you know, very clearly that you could be coming into some sort of partnership because when you're in that energy of, like I said, regalness and royalness, the empress, the emperor, um, you're very attractive. So you're going to attract eventually what you are. And so this person is fearing you leaving them behind, just as I said, because they was thinking that, you know, you was going to always be surrendering and beckoning to the every, you know, call. And um, until you one day realize you woke up from that sleep state and realize how fly you were and realize your worth and value. So let's tap in. Why is this 22 intuition spell, uh, security tower card, watchtower of the East Spring, the Five of Swords, and the Seven of Baskets here for what's hidden for my beautiful Scorpios. May I have a message of peace, power, and protection for what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Scorpios and who's praying on their downfall. Thank you, spirit. Oh, man, I can't take all of those, beloveds. I can't take all of those. But I can take this one that's poking out. That one right there poking out is like, pick me, pick me. And we're going to take it. And so it says, where do you see yourself five years from now? If you don't know, check it. The, um, create a vision board. So this person is looking at your life. Like I said, they could be counting your pockets. They could be looking at where you're headed. Because like I said, you have... Um, you know, like you've had this momentum and you're building. And so when you're thinking about five years from now, you're you're literally building a legacy. You're literally um, working around the clock to to ensure that you have some sort of stability and security. And the more you work on yourself and the more you continue to strive for for greatness and success, the further behind they feel. Um, we have only calls with bad news. It's time to stop accepting those calls for your peace of not mind. So perhaps this is something that you started to realize about those those connections and those relationships that you had was that they were just one sided. It was like they was just calling when they needed you to be their ear or when they needed you to be, you know, their bank account or when they needed you to be their, you know, their psychic, you know, um, their, their uh, psychiatrist or their counselor. But then when it hit the fan on your life, in your life, that you looking around for the same reciprocity and it's not there, it's non-existent. So perhaps you started to re-strategize and, um, you know, you created a whole new paradigm for yourself. And let me get one more message. I just want to clarify that. Ooh, please, please, please. I almost lost. Drop all of these cards. Beautiful spirit, peace, love, and light. We get a message. Why? What's hidden? Thank you, spirit. 
and we see success here so what did i say you got success and opulence in your future and this is because you're living your truth and you're living your purpose see that you got a you got a secret admirer loves what they see someone's watching you and i feel like that's what this person could potentially be trying to block because if they are getting readings done on you and if they do have um you know someone that could be um um reading your energy or doing uh the cowrie shell readings um they could see that you have some sort of divine counterpart spiritual partnership twin flame coming in and they could be trying to block that that's why that spell is there as well but there's major success in your life i definitely feel like there's wish fulfillments in this job offers there's some sort of investments or manifestations this could be from your own doing you don't realize that there's a manifestation or there's some sort of secret admirer that's on their way in let me get another card, uh, not another card, a card for uh, the outcome, and then we're going to wrap it up. So why is it 78 spiritual career here? Thank you, spirit. So you are seen as the umi. You love yourself, therefore you're going to attract love. You also have a very loving, nurturing, maternal energy or paternal energy. Uh, Mama Yemenya is a beautiful Orisha. So you're all about family, you're all about home and hearth. You create that paradigm. We also have patience is also a form of action. Stay diligent diligent and it's not what you think further investigation needed so i feel like perhaps if there's someone who could potentially um be coming in i feel like there is a sense of like they're going to be very patient maybe someone is looking at the situation as something that's going to be cold and maybe your response to them could be cold but it's not going to be that i feel like you're going to be open and receptive because you will feel the love and we got this trust must be earned not given so that's your new vibration that could be why somebody is you know having this sentiment like you know, they, they're, they're kind of patiently planning. Uh, it could be that secret admirer, but I do feel like you are all about your family. You love yourself. You're very attractive. And I feel like your ancestors are um, aligning you with the right person. We get one more message, spirit, and then we're going to wrap it up. One spirit of peace, power, and protection. We get one more message for the outcome for Scorpios. One more message. Thank you. Wow. And it says build an emotional um, connection over a physical one. I'm taking that one because all of these flew down, down, um, face down, rather. And on the bottom of the deck, it has uh, have zero regrets. All the pain was worth it. So I feel like a lot of you all, that's exactly where you are. You went through it. You didn't go through it. You grew through it. And this is exactly why you were anointed by your angels and ancestors. That rejection that you felt as a child, that abandonment that you felt in your marriage or your relationships or your uh, connections, your friendships. It was all not for not. It wasn't for not. It was because this is your your grand um, awakening to who you are, your life purpose, passion, and mission. And spirit is protecting you and guiding you. And you have some folks hating you because you are now stepping into a whole new paradigm and they're being left behind. But this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I hope the messages resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, share, the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are new, I hope my reading resonated with you. Hope my energy, my vibe resonated with you. If you're returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. I'm speed talking because my video is literally my uh, computer is about to die. So this last letter. But thank you all for tuning in and tapping in. Until next time, send a big fat out. Peace.